Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello, welcome. We will discuss today a special kind of design called placket Barman designs. Let us see the topics, the contents of today's presentation, introduction, then construction of placket Barman designs, how you will find out alias matrix in placket Barman design and then how do you analyze the data that are resulted out of the experiments using plaquette Berman design. So, plaquette Berman design was developed by Plaquet RL and Berman JP in 1946. This kind of this kind of design is used to study k equal to n minus 1 variables where n is multiple of 4. So, let the number of factors be factors to be studied is k and the number of experiments is n. So, placket Berman design is used when k equal to n minus 1 when n is power of 2 like 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4 then this placket Berman design or PB design is equivalent to fractional factorial design. Okay. But there are some cases when that n will not be a power of 2, not be power of for example, if n equal to 12, this is not power of 2. Okay. So, when n is not power of 2, so in that case, this is this, this is a special design, special design and placket Berman design is applied for such situations. So, n equal to 2, 20, 28, 34. So, this kind of design, these are the most popular one for placket Berman design. So, in placket Berman design often the main effects are of interest, are of interest, main effects. So, we are not interested in interaction effects, interaction effects whether it is 2 o a interactions or more this is not of interest. Okay. So, it is it uses standard orthogonal arrays uses standard orthogonal Okay. Another interesting issue here in placket Berman design is that when we use fractional factorial design like 2 to the power k minus p design, suppose you are using 2 to the power k minus p design, 
for example, to the power 3 minus 1 or to the power 6 minus 2, whatever may be this resolution 3, here resolution 4. So, what happened? You have generators. So, equal to P and defining relations, defining relations equal to P plus to the power P minus P minus 1. But in Plaquet Berman design or the design where Plaquet Berman uh, design is um, what I can say valid. So, they or used mostly used, I cannot say valid, mostly used. So, they are the defining relations are not available. That means, if I use to the power 3 minus 1 3 design, then you have seen earlier the defining relation I equal to A B C and you know that how to now obtain the 2 to the power 3 minus 1 design and conduct the experiments, but in this case in plaque P B case, packet Berman case, this defining relation are not known. Okay. So, what happened the alias structure cannot be found out by knowing the defining relation and then multiplying every factors. So, you require regression approach to find out the alias structure. Okay. As k equal to n minus 1 and this is basically the case where P b is used. So, you, you see that there will be no degree of freedom available, there will be no degree of freedom, degrees of freedom available for, for error to be estimated. If situation is like this, error cannot be estimated. So, what you require then? If you use k less than n minus 1, then depending on the, the type of effects is of interest. So, there can be some, some source of error estimation. Okay. So, we will discuss those things. And another important one is that if you go for 2 to the power k or 2 to the power k minus p design, you will find out that this design can be represented in terms of cubes, but this plaquet Berman design where n equal to 12, 20, 28, 34, you cannot represent that in terms of cubes. So, as a result, maybe this type of design is known as non-geometric design, non-geometric design. So, with this let me read out from the slide. So, P it is developed by Plaquet and Barman in 1946 used to study k equal to n minus 1 variables in n runs where n is multiple of 4. If n is power of 2 Plaquet Barman design are identical to, to the power k minus design. For n equal to 12, 20, 24, 36 p b designs are of interest only main effects are of interest, P b is standard orthogonal arrays, there is no defining relations as interactions are not identically equal to main effects. When k equal to n minus 1, no degrees of freedom are available to estimate error terms as plaquet Berman designs cannot be represented in cubes, they are sometimes called non-geometric designs. Okay. Now, second is that how do you construct plaquet Berman design? Plaquet Berman design or PB designs also utilizes two labels, label high or plus, low or minus. Trial experiments are assigned plus or minus signs in a cyclical manner. Okay. So, what is this cyclical manner? So, just you, th you assume that there are 7 factors A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Also, 
you say that the trial 1 can be conducted keeping A at high, B at low, C at low, D at high, E at low, F at high and G at high. Then to maintain the cyclicity, your next trial will be started with plus then my plus then minus. Suppose what you are doing then, where you are ending? In the first trial you end with G plus. So, this will be this plus sign will start in the next trial first followed by the again the from uh, the remaining uh, remaining signs from the left. Okay. So, what do you mean? You have started with first A plus then minus minus then plus then minus then plus and plus. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, okay, it is k equal to n minus 1, where k equal to 7. So, obviously, n will be 8. So, there will be 1, there will be 1 more, 1 more row. Fine. So, first A you start like this. What will be B? B will where you just see the seventh case run. So, seventh it ended with plus, you start with plus here. Then you repeat from here. So, then plus plus, then 2 minus minus minus, then again plus, then minus, then plus. Okay. So, what I mean to say here. Mm, I think I think I have given it a little differently. You just write down in this manner. Suppose I have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, seven factors. Okay. So my trial one. So actually this is my trial one, and this one is trial two. That is what I mean to say. So, in trial 1 you see ultimately A is plus minus minus plus minus plus minus minus plus minus plus plus and the second one will start from here. So, plus then you start from here plus minus minus plus minus plus. Okay. So, in this manner this is what is I am saying that when the first one end second one start and you repeat this process. Okay. So, as a result what happened? What happened? I say this is my trial 1, this is my trial 2, then trial 3, then trial 4, trial 5, 6, 7. Okay. So, you see that a trial 1 started like this a b c d f g and trial 2 like this then you, you this cycle order you complete and ultimately you complete up to 7 ok. So, then what will happen ultimately you see in the first trial how many plus 1 2 3 4 and how many minus there are 3 4 plus and 3 minus ok. So, you, you repeat this process and then for the up to 7th and for the 8th run put all minus, put all minus. Let me repeat, forget about this here is some notation difficulties. So, you have 7 factors, you are you started for the trial 1 that means the first experiment and you are keeping the factors either positive or negative suppose this is this is a start. Then for the second one what you will do you start where you end you start from there and continue from the previous in sequence. Third one in the same manner start where you end and repeat this process. In that process you, what you do you finish the first seven first 7 experiments and the last one will be all negative all at low levels. So, <coughs> what happened this gives you 28 plus signs and 28 minus signs 
here we have k equal to 7 there will be for each factor there will be 4 number of plus and 4 number of minus if you if you do this. So, 4 number of plus and so all together there will be 28 plus and 28 minus with reference to this example k equal to 7. Now, question is that how do you start with this when why this one plus minus all those things. So, okay, that orthogonal array and concept and all those things are used and but ultimately Plackett and Barman PB they have given some starting some um, starting trial designs and the procedure is this once you then there may be different combination, but please can make it that it will be orthogonal uh, arrays and then once you start with the first trial first experiment you do the second experiment will be done in maintaining main, main, maintaining the cyclicity and follow and third experiment fourth experiment like this k equal to k number of uh, that experiment first. And then the last one what will happen the last one will be will be all all the factors at low level ok. And this ensure orthogonality this ensure that there will be equal number of high and low value power factors and uh, and it is basically least uh, number of experiment uh, is required. So, all those things makes uh, this uh, PV design very popular. Another one is that your, your in this case uh, your it is not a 2 to the power power type of uh, experimental runs it is other than uh, that 2 to the power power case. Okay. So, let us see some useful designs given by P B that for k equal to 11 you and n you require 12 experiment to be run and the, the first trial is given like this. So, you use it to find out the second, third, fourth like this there will be 12 trials and then k equal to 19, k equal to 23, k equal to 35 and k equal to 27. So, these are these are the starting points given. So, when you start uh, using plaquette Berman designs, it is you first know that what is the number of experiment uh, number of factors and what is n value you want to choose and accordingly you select um, one of the initial trial uh, first trial from this uh, the given uh, given plus minus signs and you follow the cyclic process and get the complete design. Okay. This is what is presented here. You see here we have 11 factors and that means we require minimum 12 runs. So, what you have done you have run number 1 to 12 and this side 11 factors. Now, the first trial plus minus plus minus 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 plus 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 minus plus. Okay. Suppose this is what is the things you have started with. Then the second one will be where you have ended, you have ended with plus. So, plus then you start from this, then plus plus, then minus, then again plus, then 1 to 3 minus, 1 to 3 minus, then 1 to 3 plus, 1 to 3 plus minus. So, here you ended with minus, you start with minus again. Okay. So, minus then again start from here plus plus, plus plus, 1 minus, then 1 plus, then 3 minus, then 3 plus. So, like this. So, in this manner you go like this, like this and up to how much k equal to 11, up to 11 factors here you continue this. Okay. Then the last one, 12 one you see all are negative, that means all at low level. So, now if you see every column of the factor factors a to k you see there are equal number of plus and equal number of minus here plus that means 6 plus 6 minus every every column like this. Now, if you take the dot product of the every column what will happen dot product of two any two columns you will get 0. So, plus means plus 1 minus means minus 1 that is the orthogonality. Okay. 
So, in this case few more issues to be uh, discussed we have how many factors 11 factors. So, how many main effects main effects will be 11 how many 2 o a interaction effects 2 o a interaction effect will be 11 c 2 how many 3 o a interaction effects 3 o a interaction effect will be 11 c 3 and so on. But please keep in mind that plaquette Berman design is used mainly to get the estimate of the main effects. So, that means the second uh, we 3 and higher order adaptation are they are also negligible and we are uh, 2 and higher order are negligible or of not interest. Okay. But from our previous knowledge of fractional factorial design that that uh, we know that there, there must be defining relation to get the alias structure. So, in this case uh, there is no that equal sum with the, because of the main interaction main effects are aliased with second order interaction effects and in, in earlier case we have written that main effect suppose A is aliased with second order suppose B C in that case we will write like this, but in this design that we mean that kind of equal uh, that alias structure uh, aliasing is not there and or may not be there and so as a result what happened you will not get defining uh, relations. So, I equal to A B C kind of things you will not get. Okay. So, we use regression approach to get the alias structure. Now, see here there are 12 runs and every main effect is partially al aliased with every two interaction effects not involving itself. But this in this design the thing is that if you find out the alias structure of A, then A will be aliased partially aliased in the sense that with other second order interaction effects which do, which do not uh, involve A or where A is not there, A is not into consideration. So, that means, uh, the A B interactions uh, for, uh, okay. for example, the A B interaction is aliased with the 9 main effects involving C, D, E and K. Okay. So, furthermore each main effect is partially aliased with 45 2 factor interactions. Now, let us come to uh, let us see that how this kind of alias structure is, is generated. I told you in uh, one of the previous lectures that regression approach to identify the alias structure we and there we have given you the alias matrix. What we have done? We have run a partial model involving x 1 factors and and another may be x 1 is basically n cross n cross p 1 p 1 number of factors and another one x 2 another one full one involving x 1 and x 2 where this equal to n plus p 1 and this equal to n cross may be k minus p 1 that if there are total number of factors uh, other you write p 2 the other effects. So, p effects and p 2 effects. So, that means there is a there is a model which is basically run and there will be that is basically chosen and there will be another model which may be a full model or the correct model. And then we found out here what happened the estimate is beta 1 for all this and it let here it is beta 2 then the for the full model this will be with reference to beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 y equal to plus epsilon. Now, we have computed expected value of beta 1 cap and then what we have found out we found that this is beta 1 plus a into beta 2 where a is the alias structure. So, this is nothing but x 1 transpose x 1 inverse x 1 transpose x 2 where x 2 coming from the design matrix of here and x 1 is the design matrix is this that we have discussed earlier. And using this we have 
found out the alias matrix here. Now, because there are 7 11 factors, it is a huge one. So, we have used excel sheet to find out uh, this one. You see a to k that what is this is what is basically and again 1 to 12, this is plus 1 minus 1, this is what the design matrix and from here you can compute also a, b, c all those things. So, there will be so many, so many interactions, second order interactions. We are not considering the third or higher order interaction because P B design is not for that purpose. Now, what happened this this is x 1 then we computed x 1 transpose and then finally, x 1 transpose x 1 when you do you are basically getting this matrix diagonal elements are 12 of diagonal elements are 0. Okay. So, if you develop a regression model using this x 1. So, this is the model you have chosen this is the model where the only the main effects are involved. Now, if you if you go for a full model involving all the interaction parameter then x 2 part will be this that only the second order interactions. Now, when you multiply these things uh, with let me go back x 1 and uh, x 2 x 1 transpose x 2. So, ultimately you will be getting this kind of this kind of data c 0 0 4 4 all those things. And finally, I will show you that that when you you find out the alias structure you will be getting this kind of things. Here you see that minus 0 0.34 0 0.34 means it is basically 1 by 3. So, this is what is the alias structure uh, computed using regression and if I if you see the uh, if you go back to the presentation now you see that the a minus 1 by 3 b c 1 by 3 we are saying 0 0.34 minus 1 by 3 b d minus 1 by 3 b e and like this. So, this alias structure is obtained using regression approach. So, you just see that uh, using excel and, and, and under this situation you will be able to find out the alias structure. Okay. So, <coughs> only alias structure is not sufficient you require to uh, find out the effect as well as the sum square and as well as you want to analyze the data you want to find out whether the effects are significant or not and which of the effects are significant that also you want to find out. So, now effect is the same formula and SS is same formula what we have identified or what we have shown to you earlier. Now, when there are when k equal to n minus 1 no degrees of freedom are available to estimate the error term hence no significant test is possible if you have k equal to n minus 1 that is the situation. But if you have k l is less than n minus 1 suppose actually you have 7 factors and you are going for 8 design then you have no error, uh, degree available for apart from the main effects estimating other effects including the error terms. But if you use suppose k equal to 7, but you are using n equal to 12 and you are interested only in main effects then you have 5 different runs available and that will help you to identify the uh, identify the errors uh, provided the second and higher order interactions are negligible. So, under such situation how the packet Blumman design is used, packet Blumman design is used using dummy factors. Okay. Then what do you do? Suppose you have, uh, okay, I will give you one example later on. Then once the dummy factors are known and then find out the sum square for the dummy factors and the sum of sum square or average of sum square of the dummy factors. Uh, will be will be the mean square errors and degree of freedom freedom will be the number of dummy factors. Then what happened you have the main effect estimates plus you have the error estimates. So, you are in a position to develop another table and 
then find out the significance. Okay. So, here is one example. Suppose you have four factors. So, if you go by k equal to n minus 1, then, then k equal to 4 means you require 5 runs. But here what happened? We, you are using suppose 8 runs. So, you have 3 excess runs. So, that means you can use 3 dummy factors. So, this is one such design where A, D1, B, D2, C, D3, D and this, uh, this kind of uh, structure is or layout is used. And you have used placket Burman that de uh, design that cyclic one. And, and once you have done experiment, let the result is like this for the first treatment 10, second treatment 9, 10, 9 like this. Okay. So, what, what you, you do? You find out the effect using the formula 2 into contrast by n and sum square is contrast square by n and then you using this data you will be uh, you will be getting effect equal to this for a it is 1.75 and like this and s is also like this and and then what happened you can find out you can use this information to find out the um, error values so, in this case let me repeat P B requires k minus equal to n minus 1 as k equal to 4. So, we require 3 dummy factors d 1, d 2, d 3 because we have used 8 number of runs. This one I have taken from uh, internet material source is this and you can download and read it. So, now using this information S S and the degree of freedom. So, we have computed the ANOVA table. You see the ANOVA table, we are interested in the main effect. We are saying the sources are the main effects only and then A, B, C, D the S S what we have computed that is shown written here and for error the S S of all the dummy factors. So, dummy factor D 1 S S is 1.125, D 2 0.125 and d 3 0 0.125. So, if you add them 1.125 plus 0 0.125 plus 0 0.125. So, ultimately you will be getting that 1.375. So, as every factor is having two levels the degree of freedom available per factor is 1, but here error is equated to 3 dummy factors having 1 degree of freedom each. So, total uh, degree of freedom available for error is 3. So, now then using the traditional ANOVA procedure find out the mean, sum, mean square which is sum square by degree of freedom and then your MSE is 0 0.458 then find out F value, F value is MS that effect by MS error that means for A it is 6.125 divided by 0 0.456 13.37 in this manner the uh, F values are computed. Now, from the theoretical value using alpha equal to 0 0.05 F 1 3 is 10.13. So, you see if you see the F value for all the four main effects you find out that only A F value for main effect A is more than the theoretical value. So, effect A is significant and other effects are not significant. Okay. So, this is what is uh, placket Burman design. I hope that you understood it and you will be able to reproduce the same thing or recall this procedure whenever it is requested for. Thank you very much.